medicine for delivery trucks Deliver me from evil or you'll all be fucked Delicate transmission with a fierce immortal cry on whistle wire pissing. Sympathetic, blurry vision, cell of sacred soul revision. Some immortal hand to ride on whistle wire pissing. Altruistic, radiation, atrophy, disintegration. Ocean said the rivers ride on whistle wire pissing. Innovation, information, automatons, and information. Beggar drags the power ties on whistle wire pissing. Graphic, indecision, telemetric, fatal vision, reaper, whaler, screamer, cried on whistle while you're pissing. Elemental, electronics, tell a secret, indiscretion, window walk, mortified on whistle while you're pissing. Photographic, accusation, leave no thought of alteration, wave hello to camera's eye on whistle while you're pissing. Here's the body of a woman, there the body of her lover with a fractured dotted eye on whistle while you're pissing.
Academic condemnation, pacifying, new conditions, teach them not to wonder why, don't whistle while you're pissing. Demographic, democratics, power sell the politicians, meanwhile countless millions die, don't whistle while you're pissing. Economic sublimation, sell the world and fuck the nation, make a million, do or die, don't whistle while you're pissing. Anarchistic gravitation, revolution, celebration, death to tyrants, death to lies, don't whistle while you're pissing. Sympathetic, blurry vision, subtle sacred solar vision, some immortal hand or eye, don't whistle while you're pissing. Innovation, information, automatons and automations, negative drags or power ties, don't whistle while you're pissing. Democratic, democratic, so our solar politician, meanwhile countless millions die, don't whistle while you're pissing. Telepathic, television, send a delicate transmission, with a fierce immortal cry, with a fractured dotted eye, oh beautiful, for a second sky, don't whistle while you're pissing. Evening, y'all. Um, the bumper music tonight is Uncle Karma, which was one of my favorite bands um, from when I was a kid. Um, it was one of my bands when I was living in Austin, Texas. And uh, I played keyboards and sang. And we had a regular gig on public access TV. And that kind of inspired uh, the look and feel of the stream, actually. Anyway, good evening. Um, so, we are working on a song called Your Camera, and we started out um, a couple weeks back on this song by dissecting, not by dissecting, or by looking at the, uh, the structure of films by Gary Newman. And then we followed Gary Newman's composing technique of writing out each of the parts on piano and then assigning the instrumentation to it after the fact. And we've got the profit going um, with a nice bass arpeggio and with a nice lead sound um, in the missing episode where either um, something went terribly wrong with OBS or else I was too high to actually start the stream. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I recorded some guitar, and I since rearranged the structure of the song so the guitar is incomplete but uh i'm leaving it in just to get the general idea of it um so uh i wanted to start out just by listening to what we have so far and then we'll dive in i wrote down some ideas during the week of different stuff we could work on and um but let's go ahead and hear it as it stands right now and then we'll start making some changes and adding some um flavor crystals here we go here I love that
net extra half verse we're still left from the films. I really like this song so far. I like this one um, better than any of the other ones we've worked on so far, I think. So the first idea I had um, actually has to do with the coda. So we have um, we have um, 36 bars. No, we have uh, 24 bars in the coda. Um, three, um, three sets of eight. Or three, uh, God, three sets of eight bars each. Um, and um, it's in the last one that things start to decay. Um, what I was thinking, oh, we actually have a, okay, we have four eight bar measures. Okay. Anyway, what I was thinking is um, the drums could, um, I was listening to Buzzcocks, and there's this one Buzzcocks song where they had this cool production trick where the song fades out and then fades back in at the end. And I thought that was kind of cool. I think that's uh, our everything. Pretty sure that's our everything. Yeah. So um, I thought that might be fun to do. So what we need to do is view the master track. How do I do that? Oh, up here. Track. Sure, I'll put track. Here we go. All right. So we have stereo out, and I'm going to switch to automation view. And we're here in the coda. So about at the halfway mark, right about here, what I want to do is... I want to fade out toward that point, and I'm going to start fading out four measures before the end. Oops, I want to do that down here, sorry. So let's make this a volume automation track, and we're going to put our first marker here. Our second marker here. That's not right. And our third marker here. And what we're going to do, I'm going to give it some more granularity here. We're going to fade out and then fade right back up. We're going to not go quite all the way quiet, but pretty far down. All right, let's hear that. A little abrupt. Let's move it back a measure and bringing it back in a measure slower. OK. 
Okay. That was one idea. Um, oh, a uh, another thing I was thinking about doing, which that's going to actually destroy. Oh, great. Okay. This is not going to work for the next thing that I want to do. I want to delete the track animation on this track. Can never remember where this lives. Delete automation. Okay. So I don't want to see the stereo out anymore. All right. The other thing I was thinking about doing um, is in the drums in the coda. We have this cool thing going on with the drums where we have ascend um to uh to an eq um that is am radio-esque and wired head arts actually gave me that idea so i was thinking maybe in the coda we could bring those uh we're already bringing them out but i wonder if we could bring them um bring them in earlier as well so let's say over the course of two measures. And lasting for about two measures, we're gonna bring up that AM drum. All right, let's see. Lost it. Okay. Did we do that? Yeah. Let's start it here. Here we go. It's subtle, but I like it. Just to make it a little bit less subtle. We are burning through ideas tonight. Um, with doing that, I was thinking about um, taking all the other instruments down in that same spot. Like what I tried to do with the uh, with the volume on the, with the output on the master track, but because I want to keep the drums. I don't want to fade out on the master track. So I'm going to add some markers here to our automation lines. So everything happens at the same time. And I'm going to drag the volume down on both of the synth, oops, on both of the synth tracks. Let's see what that sounds like. I like that. <clears throat> it sounds a lot cleaner than doing it on the master track anyway. So I like that. Cool. What do y'all think? Is that pretty cool? 
another thing I was thinking about doing, also drum related. Um, I'm going to do something kind of crazy here. I am going to select all the drum tracks and put them on a new track. And then what I'm going to do, this is magic. I'm going to Oh no. Well, what I thought I was going to do was convert that to MIDI, but I do not see that as an option. Export. Export as MIDI file. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. We need a new external, we need a new track. New MIDI track. And can we drag this in? And will it be drums? I have no idea what's going on right now. Why is this being weird? It dropped it in in weird places. Okay, I guess I can't do that thing that I wanted to do. All right, my idea was to take a certain of the drum hits and put them in that AM sound. Um, I guess we can do this another way. Let's add a let's add a MIDI track, and instead of a sampler, let's use Drum Kit Designer, and we'll just record some. Uh, I had with that. All right, so we have drum kit. That's not very interesting. That's better. And we're gonna send this to our bus. Need to see which one had that weird EQ on it. Looks like it might have been, no, not that one. This one. Yep, there's that fil phone filter notch EQ, notch filter. All right, so that is
I wish it showed me which ox this was. I think it's three. Two or three, let's see. All right, we're gonna send Manchester Kit to I'll put three. Yep, that's our EQ. Sorry, that should have been a send. And no output. No? Yeah, we're going to do something with that. And I need to bring this up. I don't think that's going to be audible. <laughs> somewhere else where we need some accents. So let's go halfway into verse one. Let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> there and let's do something in the chorus <laughs> It's 
single flavor crystal. And we're gonna call that drum accent. And let's uh, let's make a track stack here. And we'll make it a summing stack so that we can control the overall volume. All right. doing this with the send and it's uh stopping me from being able to add a compressor onto it which i really 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 want to do so rather than doing output to bus three we're going to do no send and we're going to set the output to stereo and we're going to just recreate that eq effect it was a preset it's not a big deal um If I can find it. Telephone EQ. No, that's not the one. Phone notch filter. Here we go. All right, so I've got that EQ on the drum accent track, and I wanted to add some reverb to it. We'll go with the chroma verb. We haven't played with that one in a while. Solo this. That is super quiet. We're gonna have a compressor. And add some green here. Okay. Do not like this reverb. And much to the light of my drum nerd friends. We are going to add a noise gate right there. No, don't like it. Let's see how it sounds in C2. Just through the intro. All right. Looks like the pattern sucks up here.
Is that right? Copy that over here. All right, let's just into the intro now. liking that a lot. All right. So we have our drum accents and, and our drums. All right. The main meat, <coughs> excuse me, the main meat of what I wanted to do tonight was, uh, again, kind of harkening back to that Gary Newman <coughs> two-way army era where he ran um, scents through guitar pedals and um, it kind of was making me think about um, when I was in the band Uncle Karma and um, I had a really obnoxious I was a I played uh, keyboards I had a Roland and a Korg M1 and um, I had a really obnoxious amplifier and it had horns on it um, and those horns just made the sound so bright and I could really like cut through guitar and drums and everything else with this nice, clear ringing tone. And um, so when we did recording, we actually mic'd my amplifier because I liked the sound of it so much. And that is something that is very common with guitars when you record guitars because musicians become very um, attached to the sound of a particular head and speaker. Um, but... You don't want to do that with scents when you're in a studio because synthesizers have line out. So there's no need to go through an amp. They have a line level out output signal. Um, but what if? What if we go back in time to those Uncle Karma days and um, ran that lead synth part through a an amplifier that we mic? But how can we do that? We're in logic. We don't have an amplifier. We don't have mics. We don't have studio equipment for that. Yes, we do. It's all virtual. And it's amazing. And we're going to get into it after this five-minute break. Thank you.
and lies alone Beyond the world of what I do, I fell the world of snow A beggar through the back lot, a stranger man than me And Dr. Shepard's chamber His face is on the console, his face is made of glass A silicone electron gun, a petrol wood of brass He's splitting up his wounds now, he's bleeding DHF In Dr. Shepard's chamber He tried to smile, but his face just cracked Oh, the glass man has no turning back, turning back. He tried to run, and his feet were smashed. Blood like honey seeping through the cracks, through the cracks, through the cracks. In Dr. Shepard's chamber, a fearful cry arose. The nightmare lady's nightmare is swarming up in droves. The numbers form a red sea. Now they play their part in Dr. Shepard's chamber. Her oh, mind is melting fast now in an eerie amber glow. Pharaohs in a bleeding frenzy and on the honey stones. That moving now within her, no life left but their own in Dr. Shepard's chamber. She tried to smile, but her face just cracked. For her now there's no turning back, turning back. She tried to run and the beat was smashed. Her blood like honey seeping through the cracks, through the cracks, through the cracks. In Dr. Shepard's chamber, in the one room of your home, the space for it so free, I'm the dark and fell alone. His eyes don't speak of so sublime, I'll steal your very soul. In Dr. Shepard's chamber, your body's catatonic and your place is still he tells you how to pass the time and he tells you how to feel No time to think about this, cause the wheel of fortune's on In Dr. Shepard's chamber I have no idea how to classify Uncle Karma. I had some weird influences. There's definitely some Orlando Born going in there. With some of the songs, there's some tones on tail in there. I just made weird music, I don't know. I guess I've always made weird music. that M1. All right. So we're going to take this uh, synthesizer part, the lead synth part, and we're going to do some cool stuff with it. I'm going to solo. Um, if you were here last week, you remember um, I recorded The Prophet twice and uh, with very similar effects. Um, but the thing that we did differently was the chorus. Um, if we look at the chorus for both of the tracks, the right and the left track, you can see that we have our rate. Um, we have a different rate set for both of them, and that is causing some overtones, which is 100% on purpose. Let's hear it. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. One thing I do need to do is throw these all the way to left and right. A lot more noticeable now. Okay, so I'm just going to solo one of them and I'm going to temporarily bring it back to the middle. Once we get the sound the way we like it on one track, then we'll copy it over to the other one. All right, so what we're going to do, we have a lot of effects in the chain already, and we're going to add one more, and that is Amps and Pedals Amp Designer, and this is so cool. So uh, we have a bunch of um, heads and uh, cabs to mess with. Um, one of my favorites is the large black panel. And uh, all of these are fashioned after famous 
amplifiers that guitar players use. So you've got the the old Fender Tweed. Um, they all look like the uh, they look like their counterparts, but for whatever reason, Apple didn't uh, license the names. So we're gonna go with this cab here, and let's play first without it, and then I'll switch it on, and you can hear what it sounds like. Now what we're going to do is I turn the master output down and we're going to crank the gain up and that's going to give us a distorted sound. It's old fashioned distortion. And now let's play with microphone placement. Um, the mic had been close and at the center of the cone, which uh, picks up the high frequencies. And listen to what happens when we shift it toward the side of the cone. It's a lot lower. So let's put it uh, about halfway and a little bit distant. Might be a little bit too extreme. All right. Let's turn the reverb off on it. Try some different amps just for the hell of that. That one certainly is a thing. Space designer at the as the last thing in the chain. Bring down these highs. 
Let's hear that in C2. I think that sounds pretty good. All right, so let's go back to our amp settings. And that is the large tweet combo. So we'll go to our other profit track. We're gonna add an amp. And let's mix it up. We'll solo this track. Not that one. This one. That track on the So I'm going to listen to the whole thing through now, and uh, you know what that means. It's time for the Studio Twinkie. So I'm going to turn my camera off because nobody needs to see me eating a Twinkie. Let's, eat, let's uh, hear the whole thing all the way through while I eat my Studio Twinkie, and then we're going to come back and do something really cool with the arpeggiated bass. I have a cool idea for that. Here we go.
Well, uh, something just glitched, and I really liked it. Um, I liked it when the drums. Oh, that was. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the way this is shaping up. All right, so this uh, bass part here. Let me solo it. All right, so that is a... Uh, that is a, uh, a bass arpeggio. And when I hold a note... You can hear it pulsing and moving around. There. That's just holding a note. It's rhythmic. It's an arpeggio. So, um, while I like that, um, I thought it might be fun to build our own arpeggiator. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this bass profit track and I'm going to mute one of them and that's our original and um, I'm going to replace the sound replace the uh, the patch on the profit with one that does not have an arpeggio and we're going to build the arpeggio up from ground all right we're going to go shopping for a sound right now <laughs> So, uh, when I shop for sounds, I like to take a post-it note and a pen and write down the ones that sound interesting as I'm auditioning the sounds and then, um, switch back and forth between them until I have a, so I have something I really like. So, uh, let me set a cycle region here. Edit the MIDI here because we have a program change event. Let me make note of the fact that it used to be 014 so I don't lose it. And then we're going to go and remove this MIDI event. 
So now it'll play what I tell it to play. All right, we're going to audition. I think I like this kind of juicy Depeche Mode thing. All right. So uh, we actually need to make a copy of the... No, we don't. All right. So now we're going to add a delay designer onto that track. And what that's going to do... Let's record a fresh MIDI track. I'm gonna duplicate this puppy, mute it. This one's good. All right. I'm just gonna record quarter notes. 
can use a click track. Next up. It was cutting in and out on me, so I definitely need to quantize. Quantize to the eighth note. All right. <laughs> sound like an arpeggio, right? that fourth creeping in. Let's hear it with everything. 
see if that'll still work. That's not what I wanted, but I do kind of like that. All right, let's record it like that. Freezing some tracks. Oops. If I can remember how. Yes, when you enable show those tools. Oh well, I'll just live with it. All right. It looks even here. All right, let's try it.
See that? It stopped recording audio. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Logic is freaking out. Logic might crash. Don't crash. I am getting no... Oh. Yeah, I'm getting new sound from the prophet. I'm going to quit logic and come back in. Do not like it when my tools fight me. Now it's clown balling. I don't know why it's not recording at all. Oh crap. I see I recorded over that. Okay. Reboot the prophet. I'm still getting no output. I don't know what's happening here. It's fine when I play it there. This channel. It's going to the profit. Profit is record enabled. Let me try deleting that. All right, it's working now. We're going to keep that just for the introduction. So we're going to unmute our bass track and we're going to
mute those sections at the beginning. So we have our secondary bass track coming through instead. And now we don't need that record enabled. And we want to mute the MIDI. How do you all like that? Yeah or nay? Old way was like this. New way is like this. Sorry, new way is like this. I do kind of like the old way better. Oh well, that was an experiment. Not, not every experiment leads to uh, something good. So the intro is back to the way it was. And let's unmute these tracks. All right. The old ways, says Wirehead Arts. Well, that didn't work out so well. That's okay, though. That is okay. Um, I think what we might do um, is take a break and then um, maybe work on this uh, work on this guitar part here. Shades of Tones on tail there, right? Right? Okay. We're going to come back and work on that. So that means five minute break. And that means more Uncle Karma. I'll see you all in a few minutes.
so uh, after Thursday nights, um, no, before Thursday nights, before we went to the public access station, we would stop at this. Uh, we'd stop at this Tex-Mex restaurant to uh, have a late dinner before we headed to the studio, and they had a. Uh, they were decorated with dinosaur skeletons all over the restaurant in uh, really gaudy, bright colors. And um, there was a giant pterodactyl above the main dining room. And so the song, Tiny Terra, is about what would happen if that pterodactyl in that Tex-Mex restaurant came to life. Yeah, it was weird. Okay, this is the uh, interactive part of the night. Um, I am ready to record some guitar if you want me to record guitar. But if you have another idea for something else we could do to the song um, with any of the existing parts, speak up. And uh, the last time I did this, Wirehead Art said, hey, how about a cool AM EQ effect on the drums in the intro? And that it was a great idea and it sounds really really cool and we incorporated it into other parts of the mix so i'm going to give people in the chat a second to uh to think and see if anybody has any ideas in the meantime i'll tune the guitar professional that's streaming I would have tuned my instrument before we started I'm going to keep the original track because it has some cool ideas on it. But uh, we're going to redo the parts. So let me solo it for a second and find what notes I'm hitting here. track back. 
back in. idea. Harmonizers like cocktail twins, maybe. set this up to loop record and I'm just gonna play it through and see what happens mm, no I'll just play it through fucking that up all right harmonizer i think that's a great idea let's bring a harmonizer pedal into the mix this is the even tied harmonizer and it needs power Have to recable the guitar. Give me a second. Okay. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have with this. Thank you. 
know the notes right, you just have to play them right. Let's try it. Oh, cool! We have a uh, we have a troll. Let me see how to get rid of a troll. And block. Well, that's fun. It was inevitable. All of your messages are blocked, dude. You might as well just fucking stop it. Now I'm getting lots of user hidden messages hidden from blocked user in the channel. So let me test out the features here in Twitch, I guess. Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to do this. Are you around, Jeff? Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to do this. Are you around, Jeff? Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to do this. Are you around, Jeff? Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to do this. Are you around, Jeff? Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to do this. Are you around, Jeff? Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to do this. Are you around, Jeff? Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to do this. Yeah, I was around, Jeff. Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to do this. All right, without well, yeah, we should around there. Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to do this. All right, without yeah, we should around there. Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to do Jeff, this. Jeff, I just modded you. All right, without yeah, we should around there. Hey Jeff, how do you kick users out? I don't know how to Jeff, I just modded you. All right, without yeah, we should around there. Okay, back to music. Now I've completely forgotten the part. Isn't that wonderful? Gotta love fucking trolls.
like that. Let's see if that affects them. See what we can get. This one. do something coming into the chorus as well and I'm gonna loop here with a little bit of a tail so we can carry on with the next verse and I want something a little bit different Something like that. 
Listen like that. Glitched out of me and caused me to lose my rhythm. regions we can try it a couple of times.
Cycle Region repeated. Let's listen to the whole thing.
the guitar is taking things in a different direction, and I think I like it, but I'm not entirely sure. Probably it's not. It's gonna be one of those things that I'm not gonna know if I like it or not until I come back to it a few days later. again and that's the glitch that I like it was in a different part before but uh, here's what I heard <laughs> It's time for that all-important event where we bounce our track out to music. And we always put our time date stamp on it because we like to go back in time and um, listen to how a song has evolved over time. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to bounce it. It's going to appear in my... Um, Apple Music Library, and then later on, what I like to do is go and listen to it on the uh, stereo home pods. Got to listen to things on a variety of different speakers because you never know um, how the music is going to be played, how people are going to be playing it back. So it's important to check it on, like a home stereo, a car stereo, computer speakers, headphones, things like that. Well, I think this song has come a long way, and uh, I'm really happy with how it's coming along. And um, 
before we cut out for the night, we're going to go back in time to an earlier version of this song just to get a feel for what it sounded like. Hold on one second. So we can go back to the 11th and hear what it sounded like on the 11th. It sounded a lot more ominous on the 11th, didn't it? All right. Well, um, thanks for being on this journey with me tonight. Um, it's uh, really great to see people in chat talking and um, interacting and really makes me feel really, um, really satisfied that people are interested in seeing the process and learning about how, uh, how music is made. So anyway, thank you all for um, joining me tonight. I have uh, a week to come up with some new ideas. In the next week, I am thinking about maybe doing some vocals um, because I need to write the words for the song soon because our videographer wants to make a video for the song and he's got to have a story. So I have to get off my ass and write some lyrics. And uh, as I said multiple times, I'm probably never going to record a vocal on a stream because that is like way too intimate and vulnerable. Um, but if I can get some vocals recorded during the week, maybe we can do some mixing and producing on those next week. Anyway, thank you all. Good night. Love you all. And um, I'll talk to you in a week. <laughs>